Awaken puppets of Geppetto and welcome fans, new and loyal, to the next installment of the Lies of P Platinum 100% Achievements Guide. So here we are, ready to move on to the Black Rabbit Brotherhood Mark II. In the last video, we dealt with Krat train station and outside of Krat. Uh, I had a bit of a struggle along that journey. Hopefully, in this video, my play quality is going to improve once more, but you never know with Drew, apparently. <laughs> Come up here. We might as well gain some humanity points as the phone is right here. So we're going to answer with Ergo. And because we've skipped one phone, we're not getting the door for the King of Puppets. Now, we're going to swap our Sawtooths for the cube. And... Du -du 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 -du, checking my notes... Carcass fluid... Carcass fluid to help with the final KO. That way, you're not going to potentially waste any of them. So... Once the big guy, he should not see you from this position, because this drop is intended so you can hightail it straight to the boss. So when he's not looking, drop down and run. Make sure you summon the Spectre, otherwise this is going to be a very, very difficult fight. It's already difficult enough without it. So, once you've summoned, in we go. And let's fight the Black Rabbit Brotherhood again, shall we? Who wants to watch this guy fight the bar? Yes, the Spectre is doing its job. Just keep an eye on its health. But Spectre is definitely MVP of this fight. And allows you to get all of these lovely backstabs. So we can keep the Spectre's health as high as possible as long as we can. Why are you not giving me back to that game? But you are making this a lot harder now, because I'm going to have to 1v1 with a guy. There. Uh oh, big guy's awake. Please give me back stab. Please give me back stab. You're not giving me back stab, are you? Okay, there's a back stab. Cool. Are you kidding me? But you need to go away so I can focus on the big brother. Protection grindstone because the spectre is about to vanish. Aegis is going to take a lot of work right now. Oh. 
Right, go straight for the fatal. But, oh, he does not stagger for long at all. Stone. Getting my carcass rules ready now. There we go. That is just a generic, generally difficult fight. I was incredibly unlucky that they just... I mean, fair enough, they aggroed the spirit, but they just obliterated it. Um, normally, you can get the Spectre to survive to a little bit of the first fight with the Big Brother, which just helps you get some extra hits in at the beginning. Um, but as you can see, a combination of perfect block timing, which means you just need to learn the fight, and Aegis blocking for the rest, and just poke where you can safely. Uh, I only had two shot puts because I lost some uh, earlier in my previous video where I died. So you should also have some more shot puts available to you and carcass fluid to help plug the gap at the end, but only use it to win the fight so that you don't waste them uh, and then don't have that resource available if you have to then do it again. Fire up the Stargazer. And let's head over to Aladoro, not Aladoro, Aladusho. And remember to exhaust his diet. This is so me. important because we are doing Eugenie's story properly. We have to find the truth. So exhaust oh. his dialogue. You're looking for. Took the there should be another. There one. should be something left at the dock. So talk. I'm just a guy. About oh, the reason for the trail. There should be something left. Talk about right. his identity. I am, I but he didn't. We argue. Oh. There should be something left. There's at no the more dock. talks available. Asks, so sir, now I attack. I know that limit, sir. Leave quietly. Say attack again and bonk to get the crystal vessel and feel warm. Like Chest for the great Venini oh. collection. And now warp to the hotel. Now, this is so important. Otherwise, you're going to have to do this all over again, and nobody wants that. Do not talk to Eugenie yet. Do not talk to Eugenie yet. Cannot stress that enough. So, we're going to come over. We are going to refill our fable. We are going to talk to Vanini. I can hardly believe okay. the puppy is hiding the... The boss, boss, you pedo. And we're going to lie. We're going to say we couldn't hear. Tell me what or what or really. All I want, I think you must. We're going to feel some warmth and talk again. We have to decipher the cryptic vessel and we have to read what it says. Well, you need to go to the end of the document. As this is how we find out that Eugenie is actually Aladoro's younger sister. Now that we have done that, now we talk to Eugenie, as that is what gives us the option to tell her the truth that he was her older brother. I heard a rumor from a recent. I don't know what to think. I didn't get to. Honestly, I did. I wonder what the real. Al okay. He was Eugenie's older brother. What? This letter. We give her a letter. Sorry. She needs some time to think. 
rest of the Stargazer. And now, that's enough time. Head over and talk to her again. I did some sleuthing. My older brother's mark is... I have no choice but to... Why did my brother leave? If you've not oh, done this dialogue before, obviously, please, you know, pay attention to it. It's a fantastic... Well, it's a sad story. It's quite tragic. But at the same time, if you think about her talking so fondly about Aladoro and how he rescued her, she made the gloves, the gloves for him. You know, it it's really is, that left. part of the story is fantastic. And, now I'm giving it to you. You and we're going to get two things for this. All. We are going to get record number 15, proposal f flower wolf part one, and trophy number 38, the story of a stranger girl. So you have to do both parts of Eugenie. So you have to tell her he was just a talented stalker because that gets you one record and then you have to tell her the truth because that gets you another record and a trophy. So you have to do both of those. Come to the record player. And da -da -da, play proposal Flower Wolf Part 1. We have not played this record yet, as we've only just got it for the first time. Come over and talk to Vanini again. You may not be aware, but uh, I'm mad. I know that. I have been feeding. But this, but the golden thing, you're someone. If you need to. I always welcome. Gather some fruit again. That's two. So remember, make sure you leave yourself Stalker. two spare gold coin fruit. So in this instance, I'm leaving three as it costs two to get a wish stone, and I need to have two on me. Head over to the organ chair. So, retain guard, regain one. Attribute resistance two. And then retain guard regain upon cell use. And we're going to go back to survival. And enhance special resistance two. That's going to help us in our coming fights, having a bit of extra resistance to some of the conditions of the game. And at this point you should only have a little bit of the record left, so let that play out. Stargazer, play the King of Puppets message again. Feel some more warmth. And now, level up Vitality to 45, so that's two levels into Vitality. And then we're going to put three levels into Vigor. So Vitality 2 to 45, Vigor 3 to 23. Teleport. Uh, do I not give the 
Hang on. At the house of a and a creepy connection. There's absolutely zero reason not to do that. That gets us a sort of chunk. And teleport to the combat field 10 2. Onward we go. Heading towards the sub. It was a total attack. Black Rabbit Brotherhood, Grab the full the moonstone, might as well on the way. Too. I don't even want to guess what they might be planning, pal. This way must lead to their headquarters, shall we? Hey, look! That lever resembles. Yes! It seems we can use it to call the submarine. submarine. Is that Sophia? What the? Oh no, hey, hey it's Sophia. It's Sophia. I am finally a miracle. I bet truth is, I felt my spirit. I'll grant if you after him, I can't. Uh, talk I and exhaust the dialogue. The pet ergo and I'm Simon. I will, so stop. And there we go. Onward we go. Make sure to do the memories. You're going to get some good items for doing them. Nice resplendent chunk. From my notes, these lesser items aren't that good, which is why I don't think I bother writing them down on the New Game Plus playthrough. Don't let's not talking about this. Oh, she's here. Grab her. Come on. Find out the tragedy of Carlo. Please teach me how to use a sword. Ugh, oh, so annoying. Again. Germany, get rid of them. I'm off. Wop, 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 wop. Dim Ergo Crystal, that's why we're doing these. Is we're going to get some very good. Um, the last item is going to be an Ergo Crystal of the Eternal, which on its own is worth 25,000 Ergo. So, definitely nothing to, uh, to shy away from. Oh, that little OCD part of me that goes, I know you didn't write it down, and I know you think it's not worth it, but you don't know what it is from memory, and what if it's good, and you don't give that to your viewers? So as you can see, the lesser items are not worth it. 
they were not worth me writing down and they're not worth you picking up but doing the memories absolutely is if i had known this would happen we feel warmth Oh, the Ergo Christi Eternal was from the boss fight then. Oh well, we get some humanity points. Right. been chipped. Do the memories. Where have I missed an Ergo Crystal of the Eternal? Combat field, do this, do this, do this. Okay, well let me just check. So, spend two chunk Maybe it was because of a copy and paste error. Too vivid. No, we need to get two levels out of this. Okay, we'll just spend some of our other Ergo items. Does it miss anything? Okay, Vigor, and then what we need. 4,100. So, one level into Vigor. We're then going to get ourselves up to our required Ergo amount. So, for me, I need 4,100. And I'm going to do that spending my lowest possible denominations. So, Dim Ergo Chunk. I'm going to spend f five of those. Level up. Vigor to 25. Right. Stick to the left. Don't grab the item because we know that there are ballistas raining down fire upon us. I'm sticking to the left, we're avoiding those scorpions. Rush the dog. Oh, come on, bird. <sighs> right, come on. Stop your silly mistakes. Okay. We're still going to take out the turrets, as in case we have to do this on more than one attempt, because the door guardian is tough. We are going to take out the turrets. as it just makes our life a little bit easier.
up for a shot put. Never shy away from the shot put. Right. So, the key thing for this fight is remembering that the damage comes from when he's staggered and you have to get the critical attack, the fury attack on him. Uh, attacking his legs and using the grindstone uh, to help get that stagger build up is definitely the way forward. But this is another one of those marathon, not sprint moments. The kick gets me every time. We want. Now, if you're fortunate, you should be able to do this in two staggers. So yeah, so as long as you're cautious with your blocking, use Aegis, focus on that back leg. Not, I mean, he's either going to be incredibly difficult or incredibly easy. There isn't, I have not had an experience of anything in between. This was an example of him being very easy and straightforward uh, because our blocks, we worked with our blocks, we focused on the leg, respect his attacks. If he is hitting you, he is then incredibly difficult. Uh, he staggers you, the shock takes your stamina bar away, so you have to heal that. Um, but yeah, as long as you focus on defense and smart attacking, hack away at his leg, it builds up the stagger so quickly on him, and that's all you need to do is get him to stagger twice. So there you go, that makes up for some of my, uh, my lacking in... Uh, the last video and at the very beginning of this video we're back on track so level up two levels into motivity to get that to 32 and we're also going to switch our legion arm to the puppet string Remember that there is a Ballista. So I like to get into this nook where it's safe. To fight that enemy. Gonna lure this one and do the same. Oh, the Ballista will do it for me. Through. Get hit by the Ballista. Try this again. Oh, sorry. Between enhanced rope 
and Fable. It's quite a quick stagger on that enemy. Let's get the bridge. to respect the ballista. And okay. one more. There we go. So remember, this carcass represents both a range and a rope attack. So just see which one it's doing. Rope this one to you as you're safe here, but not here, as you can see. Oh no, 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 Drew! I was off my pace there. I I forgot the spewer was there and I wasn't looking at my notes for this piece because the key action is just to get up to stop the ballista. So I forgot the spewer was there, sorry fans. Otherwise I would have been a lot less blase about the ladder. So let's try this again. to do something. I'm not going to do something. Fine. Up here, grab the star fragment. Grab the repair tool. We haven't had to use that yet, but... Uh, it's never a bad thing to have. I'm going to come up here. Rope at a dog. Rope at a dog. There we go. Let's absolutely get rid of that ballista. And also, just because it makes it, it's an easier journey this way, we're also going to open the shortcut back to the star laser. Just in case. I mean, the double scorpions shouldn't be too much of an issue, as enhanced rope deals with those, and they're not as bad as the scorpion in the train station. Go, grab a cluster grenade, come over here, and for some reason, reading this should always trigger. And of course, that means it won't. Have a sort of thing. <laughs> That's what you get. Guys, if we were really concerned, we could have just, uh. Stone as well. Thank you.
grab off of them as they should drop Vivid Ergo and possibly a Star Fragment as well. Gink and drop. Ah, oh, there it is. It was going to happen eventually. Oh, no. No! What is this playthrough, Drew? <laughs> oh, Drew, what are you doing, man? You are not respecting this game. Playing this like it's some casual... I mean, I can't even say a speedrun, because, you know, speedrunners know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, viewers. The last, the video before this and this video, there have definitely been errors on my part. Um, and excuses are excuses. I am still ill with my uh, post-COVID recovery, which has been ongoing since the 8th of January. Uh, so, as excuse as it is, it is clearly impairing my gameplay. <coughs> and for that I apologise. I also don't think I muted properly there. But, but, sir. crystal and even though I don't need to I'm gonna grab this chest because that's how I feel after dying to the freaking scorpion on the bridge all because of my own player error right. up the ladder and now we can fire up the star Level up two more levels into motivity to get up to 34. Right. Out. So remember we're doing a plunge on one and a rope on another as they're both huggers. Don't you stop. Throw a sawtooth over there. Rope, as this one can do the ground attack, as well as the one that 
was over there that I said drove onto that one. Even though his back was turned, because those ground attacks, as we know, are very much a threat to our survivability. Up. Uh, article there if you wish. Uh, keep going. We can avoid unnecessary areas. So we're not going to fight any unnecessary enemies. We absolutely are going to grab the shot put here though. And pop this weirdo as well. Go. Take out the sniper. And we carry on. No need to go inside there. Camille letter. And we broke. Sword blade, sword blade. I knew it wasn't anything important, but I got it anyway, so hey ho. Remember here, immediately turn right to get in here so that you don't get hit by the ballista, and remember to watch out for the wall traps. Right. Hey, we're back on track. There we go. We can enhance rope the spewers again. That's what it's all about. Just like the hokey cokey. <laughs> Use the badge to create the bridge. back down and remember on the way down this is when the wall traps are at their most potent this is what they're designed they're not designed to catch you on the way up they're designed for when you overconfidently rush your way down because that's when they will catch you so rush past the enemies we're heading straight up to the police at first just like we did in the first run of this Nothing has changed. Now that they're all dispatched, open up this this new chest for the Blue Guardianship Amulet Plus One. And we are immediately going to upgrade our Blue Guardianship Amulet to the new Plus One. More health, more stamina, more legion. All good. Once you've done that, head down. And we're going to trigger the shortcut switch, just in case. Just 
chest for the Lada F350 plus one. Yeah, I didn't think we could put that one on. I wonder actually, can we put the new cartridge on? Yes, but not with the Aegis. Okay. Good to know. So you do have some heavier weight options there if you do want to go down a carrier's amulet route to have some better armor on for some of the upcoming fights. Definitely would not fault anyone for doing that. However, I'm going to stick with the amulets that we've got. So Onward we go. So for this section, remember left and a wall trap, remember? Then cross the bridge, rush and pop the sniper. Grab yourself a full moonstone to reward. Not that we need it, but the main thing is we popped the sniper. Remember the wall trap on the way back. And now we can go down to the right. Down, sniper. Sawtooth the wall, sawtooth the sniper. Oh, stop walking. There we go. And then wait behind the pillar. No, excuse me. Are you coming? There we go. Wait behind the pillar until he gets within rope range. And now it's good. Okay, and with him dispatched, we can now carry on. Uh, 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 uh. No, don't need that. So no, it was just down we go. Grab unnecessary iron protection. Do not use the plank because you know that is a trap and that will collapse. Instead, come down and before you reach the item, put the grindstone on. Oh, the grab every time. Don't you dare. After most of his... After most of his big attacks, there is a substantial window to do an easy charge attack, is what I was about to say. There we go. Grab the acid canister and make sure, obviously avoiding the floor traps, but make sure you come here and take this lift. We have to see Subject 826 again. He is going to sell us our final record. So we have to do the Subject 826 elevator and discussion and that means before fighting Laxasia we have to talk to him do, do, do. so come over here uh, I'm 826 not to... thanks i can read me. ergo it's the worst i can't i can read ergo it's the worst i can't once he's repeating himself open the door go.
getting ever closer to the end of our New Game Plus run. Crossover and up the next lift. Remember at the top to the left there is a cane enemy so go for the enhanced rope approach. There you go, you can just see him. There he is. No, excuse me. I, I'm trying to help you to go for the enhanced rope approach and you're being very rude. That's what happens if you don't use the enhanced rope approach. What a ball thing. But this recording session is exactly that. Three hits on the butterfly, then block. Bop. And then make sure we rope the sniper at the end of the bridge. Come round, drop the shortcut ladder. But we're going to go onward. Electric blitz. And make sure you have your gold coin fruit. If you don't, you need to go back to the hotel and get one. As we definitely want to avoid avoidable fights Whoa. in New Game Plus. You? Wow, your fighting is always. I actually thought, in the end, I really give gold <laughs> coin fruit. My sister, and you I have to ultimately. On to go. Take the lift up. Stargazer. How are we doing on time? Okay, we'll probably have to end it here for this one. So, what we're going to do is do our level up. So, motivity to 35, vitality to 46. Alrighty. That sees it through. That's also the end of my recording session for this evening, uh, which means that hopefully I'll be more fresh-minded and more capable in my subsequent recordings after this. Uh, but who knows? Hopefully it gave you something to have a laugh about and to show that you can be better than me. Uh, I am by no means uh, an expert at the games, although uh, more often than not I tend to be quite good at this one because I am familiar with it. Uh, you can see my perfect blocking where I've got some of the patterns down, but definitely not infallible, not flawless. You do not have to be either of those things to, to win in this game. I just hope that you're better than me, or, or any combination of that, or you're enjoying watching where I do make these mistakes. Either way, a big thank you from me for watching. As always, you mean the world to me, anyone and everyone that watches, especially those who like and subscribe. Uh, feel free to put any comments in, questions, anything I can do differently or improve on for you outside of me just playing that little bit better. Uh, I'm always happy to help in any way that I can. The Dark Souls 3 guide is coming along nicely, uh, so when I finish recording Lies of P, I can start recording Dark Souls 3 to get that Platinum All Achievements guide up for you as well. So with that, I can't wait to see you all in the next video, a big thank you from me, and bye for now.